the side panels turned out to be 11 and a half by 27 and a half. So I cut one of them and I'm getting, cutting the other one now. It's gonna go on the side, one on each end. Chuck Jackson here, continuing the build out of the uh, milk crate door hatch from my E250. And I got to this point developed in earlier videos. All right, now I'm want, wanting to start with uh, a trim that is going to go around this edge and it'll provide a rim for things to not slide off easily if you're on a slope. And, um, and it has to go on both ends and on the front. It won't need to go on the back because I'm going to have a small backsplash down there. And that trim is going to be something like this. And it's going to, it's going to come down in front to cover the edge of a couple of sliding doors, a couple of sliding birch doors. So now... <clears throat> The tools I'm using to cut this thing, I need 45 degree angles, kind of like on a picture frame, to go around a corner. And I don't have the uh, 45 uh, apparatus that goes on this table saw. So I'm going to make these cuts on a um, miter, miter box there with a regular handsaw. Okay, so we're going to see how this goes. I put a couple of shims up against it in order for it to be perpendicular in the uh, miter box. Okay, this might work. 39 and a quarter. So I have my tape measure set on the one inch mark to line up with the inside corner of the trim. And so since that was on the one inch mark, I don't want to use 39 and a quarter. I want to use 40 and a quarter. Yeah, 
So, where is it? There it is. Okay. I had a little trouble seeing there because it was uh, so bright and it's like the shadow makes it so hard to see. Anyway, uh, I did cut a couple more angles. One, you know, the two side pieces and the one on the the other end of the front piece. And <clears throat> because this is one of those things where uh, rather than glue it together, um, the trim is the most fragile part of this unit. It's really a pretty sturdy thing, but if the trim ever gets damaged or split, I want to be able to take it apart easily and then replace a, a broken piece. So I'm actually going to use screws, a little unorthodox, but um, that way I can I can have that kind of uh, you know use uh, if anything happens to it. Anyway, I've got it taped on right now, and it's all the corners is lining up very well, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and screw some pilot holes and the screws. So, okay, so it's, you might say, very take a party. But if I ever need to swap anything out for a different kind of trim or one of these gets damaged, I can take it off easily. Next thing I need to do is sides and uh, vertical trim and then down in the bottom trim going across so i found some brass screws um, when i took apart a dresser and i am using those i found some nuts to go on them and um, i'm using them to number one actually bolt the uh, side panel onto the milk crates and then to actually bolt the um, side trim and you know the edge trim onto the uh, panel itself and um, yeah you can see how those are over on the right, there's just bolts coming through, and then um, right up in the corner, I have to cut these off shorter so they'll allow the room for the sliding doors to open and close easily without getting stuck on those threads. So that means that now I have to do the other side panel and then put the trim on that and then I'm going to do the trim that goes down below in front between those two and then I can cut the doors okay there's the right side now <clears throat> and I just pre-drilled the hole down here on this uh, base rail that I have and then it's going to be for the uh, yeah the 
front trim on the bottom. Okay, so there I have my bottom rail in. And I did countersink the screw holes. Um, so the sliding doors won't rub against the screw heads. Okay, so here we go. All it needs is a little backsplash, but uh, basically it's working right now. I'll probably drill a couple holes in the sliding panels to make it easier to uh, hold to slide them open. But uh, so I got an aluminum channel for one of the doors, and that leaves enough room for the other door just to be right on the wood. Yeah, just like so. And then we just close her up like that. And it's got room. You can, it's still leaving room to pull out the water jugs when you want to do that. Yeah. So that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so uh, probably going to do a uh, backsplash next. Okay, I know I talked about putting a backsplash on this. And I have actually some Formica that is imitation stainless steel. And I'm trying to decide whether to use that or some of the cutoff from the uh, tabletop leaf that I had that I used for the counter. Either one of those would work, but they will both be in the way for the next few steps I'm gonna do on the van. So I'm gonna put them on a little bit later after I paint and uh, yeah, and after I do the uh, faucet. Uh, I'm gonna get a, uh, a lever action pump faucet with a tube going down into one of the water bottles. But this, uh, this concludes Really the basic cabinet um, that I've gone through step by step that really provides you with a, um, a, a mini kitchen for your van, boat, or the tailgate of some cars, or even your garage. So if you like this video and it uh, was entertaining, or if even it, it helped you, um, Go ahead, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.